Okay, this will be the video tutorial for those who have fallen behind and need to get caught up on Photoshop 02. So we're going to use the same file I used in Photoshop 1 um, to start learning some of the tools. And we're going to be going down our toolbar, toolbar one by one and learning these. So the first thing you should do is delete the layers that have these paintings on them, the blue or cyan. Uh, brush painted strokes and to do that I'm going to drag and drop it into the trash can and I'm going to drag and drop this one into the trash can. Now you should have three layers again that are all the same and if you hide and show them you will see that they all are the same and I want to select my layer one copy which is the layer on top which is the one we are seeing in our viewport right now. Um, the next thing we want to do is, and I believe I should have done this in Photo P1, but it's okay, we'll do it in Photo, Photo P slash Photoshop 2. I want you to change the image size. So to do that, I'm going to go to Image, Image Size. I want to make sure I change this from pixels to inches. And I want to change the width to 15 wide. And if I click in this gray area, the height will automatically update because these two are length, height and width. Our length. So I would change the width to 15 inches. Again, make sure it's inches and click OK. And you're going to see it looks like it got smaller, but we're only looking at it at about 50% of regular size. So I'm going to click on my zoom tool, or you can hit Z to get the hotkey to get the zoom tool. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Holding down Alt will toggle minus and plus. Zoom in, hold down Alt zoom out and all we're going to do is we're going to talk about this move tool if i click my move tool which is the top tool of the arrow i want to make sure auto select is off and everything else is normal so we're just going to be on our top layer we're going to drag it down to the right around right here so that this corner is approximately in the middle of our canvas now understand because i moved that off frame some of these pixels are outside of the pixels are outside of the viewable area it does not mean they've been been deleted i can click on it again and move it back um, if i hide and show it you'll see that i still have this layer i can hide all of these and you'll see that my top layer is just moved off to the right i'm going to move this back up a little bit and that's pretty much the move tool although i can tell you if you have auto select on all you have to do is click on the pixels in the layer that you want to play with. So for example, if I click up here, it will activate layer one because layer one copy is way over here. If I click on that again, it goes to layer one copy. So back and forth if you want to practice auto select. I prefer to work with auto select off, so I like to check it off and use my layers so I can pay attention a little bit better as to what layer I am on. The next tool we're going to use is one of the selection tools if I have this little tick down on the bottom right of the button and I right click, I can have multiple tools at my disposal. Some of them are hidden beneath the one that you see on top. In this case, we want to use the ellipse select tool, otherwise known as the elliptical marquee tool. And I want to zoom in to this window down here, which is in my top layer. So again, I'm going to hit Z, hotkey Z to get my zoom tool. I'm going to click in and zoom in to that window. Um, I'm also going to use the hotkey spacebar to get my hand tool in which I can now pan my camera around my canvas. Keep in mind, I'm not moving pixels. I'm just moving my camera so that I can center things that I want to have centered. So back up to get the elliptical marquee tool. Click on it. I'm going to click up and away from that window and drag. I'm holding the left mouse button. I drag all the way around my window. If I go inside of my cursor, I still have my selection tool um, active. If I go inside of my selection area, this oval here, and move that, it will move my selection. It's not moving any pixels. Um, and this is because in case I missed when I tried to select something, I can easily go in and move it so that it's centered around my window. Now I want to zoom out so I get my zoom tool. Hold down Alt to toggle and get the minus so I can zoom out. 
And now rather than using a selection tool to move my selection around, I actually am going to use my move tool to cut those pixels out of layer one copy and move them up to the top left of the butterfly. And now I have, you can see I have a hole there, which is because again, using the move, move tool when I have a selection, it will cut out what I've selected of that, um, of that layer of those pixels and we can move it all around the canvas. Now I'm going to deselect by going to select deselect hotkey which is control D to deselect that area and now if I move that camp the top layer around you'll see that that little window up there is connected and I have a hole there you can see a butterfly through there another butterfly there but there's a hole in those pixels so I'm going to leave it at about right there and that is it for that tool. Now keep in mind we have a, a, an elliptical marquee tool and a rectangular marquee tool. Depending on what you're trying to select, you should know that those will select sort of different shapes. So that's really all they are there for. So now save this PSD out by going File, Save as PSD. Again, hopefully you have things organized. You can save it however you want. Again, I'm going to put the period in. My name, this is Photoshop 02, so the subject line will change, and I'm going to click Save, and then, then you go submit that file to Google Classroom.